entering the ring, the man that we here at International Wrestling refer to as Sadistic Steve Strong. Take a look at that powerful body. The man weighs in excess of 290 pounds, possesses 24-inch biceps. He'll be facing the wildest man of professional wrestling here now, Abdullah the Butcher, the 450-pound individual from the Sudan. And it's only fitting, you know, folks, because this particular home video is entitled Butcher Mania, and it is butcher mania when abdullah will face in this upcoming match this powerful sadistic and very arrogant individual steve strong he hails from los angeles california as i said weighs in at approximately 292 pounds look at the way this man can move and look at the body he does possess those biceps measure out at 24 inches the man is a former powerlifting champion he squats 800 pounds plus he bench presses in excess of 650 pounds the man is obviously a very worthy opponent of 450 pound abdullah the butcher who is about to make his way to the ring now individual Steve Strong is there a forecast you can make no I will not because I am looking right now at Abdullah and Steve Strong and they're both opposites of the pole you look at Steve Strong well built well put together very strong man as everybody knows Abdullah might be big heavy but one thing that Abdullah's got is the experience and strength wise believe me folks he might not have the, the muscles the definition of a Steve Strong, but Abdullah, I've been in there with him myself, so I know. I'm talking of experience. He is tough, and Steve Strong will be for the fight of his life. Yet, I think Abdullah may be in for some of the same, Gino, because sadistic Steve Strong has systematically destroyed virtually every opponent that has come in his, in, into his path. He shows no mercy ever and he is obviously an extremely powerful individual you have to look at the expression on the face of eddie the brain preachman he looks awfully awfully confident that steve strong is the man to do what he wants done to abdullah the butcher well one thing is certain neither men will back down so it should be interesting to see who will come out the winner on this one well, this shapes up as a titanic battle, a titanic struggle, as the bell has rung. And the two of them, 450-pound Abdullah the Butcher, facing off the two of them having locked up in a collar-elbow hookup or a referee's position, however you wish to refer to it, sadistic Steve Strong. Bill, I wonder why they all have their hands taped. Both men, too. Look at Steve Strong. I've never seen him have his hands all taped up like that. What's he afraid of? Broken fingers or what? Well, I was just going to say that, that it does protect the hands in that regard, but also, Gino, I mean, they barred hockey players from taping their hands. The tape, doesn't that help if you want to open your opponent up? I guess it does, but both of them, uh, I mean, uh, I've got their hands taped, and the referee let it go at that. Well, I'm not sure. Was this a taped fist match? Look at that, he wouldn't go down. Well, he just did. Another 
fly clothesline coming all the way across the ring by the big man from Los Angeles, California, Steve Strong. That, Gino Brito, in my opinion, is an indication of the tremendous power and strength possessed by one Steve Strong. I have to admit it, the way he hit Abdullah that second time, you don't see that too often, Abdullah going down like that, but this time he did. Hit the canvas and a hard. And there's a smirk on the face of Steve Strong, but no more. Whoa, two judo chops to the throat after the boot to the midsection. And Abdullah moving very quickly for a man any size, following his advantage into the corner. And it, was he biting? He was. Uh, listen, uh, there's nothing to stop Abdullah biting, scratching, hitting him with foreign objects, and he'll do it. Using his head there ramming the side of his head underneath the arm of Steve Strong. That's a very tender area. And there he used his head, headbutt fashion. And a second time on the forehead of Steve Strong when he comes back with a right hand punch, rams Abdullah's head to that top turnbuckle. But really no effect whatsoever even the second time, Gino. You can be sure of that, Mill. There's no way that you're gonna hurt Abdullah ramming his head into the turnbuckle. Well, the punches to the side of the head, though. That could do the job. Steve Strong throwing his arsenal Ooh. at Abdullah. And there, you can see that Strong's played a little football in his day with those good shoulder tackles to the very ample midsection of Abdullah. And there, it look, look at that, Gino, the strength. Strong with his arms around the midsection and actually lifting up this gigantic individual in a bear hug. Can you believe it? Well, he did pick him up, but uh, you, you see the trouble is with Steve Strong right now. He can't get his arms around Abdullah's waist. Abdullah is so thick in the waist and heavy. At 450 pounds, it's not like lifting a dead weight. Well, that's true, but look at the picture being poured on by this man, Steve Strong. Look at the effect that it is having on Abdullah the Butcher. I can't believe this. Abdullah the Butcher right now is suffering, let's face it, he's cutting off, you know, he, can, he can't breathe right now. Uh, Steve Strong knows where to put the pressure, and that's the only way you're going to beat Abdullah. You know, it looked to me like Abdullah was uttering a few words in Swahili, perhaps praying to, to what, I'm not sure what his religion is, but trying to summon up some form of courage. He'll have to come out of that one. If not, it's going to be curtains for Abdullah. Let you know, uh, Steve Strong re really amazed me in this match because of one thing. He, he didn't back down from Abdullah from the reputation or whatever. And so far now, he's got the upper hand on the match. And if it keeps going, he should come out on top. Well, right now, unquestionably strong he is. What? <laughs> Maybe not now, Gino, after those two, three headbutts. Strong hits the canvas. And the look of, of almost glee on the face of Eddie the Brain Creechman at right side. the elbow from Abdullah. Yes. One, two, oh, strong. Look at the strength the man possesses. Oh, no I, way. I, I knew he'd get out of that one. I, yeah. was, I was going to He's say. He's just too know, big and strong, man. That, that there was almost a look of glee on the face of Eddie the Brain Creechman when it looked like strong had Abdullah on the ropes. And that changed so very, very quickly as Abdullah came back. Now, strong again with somewhat the upper hand. Lays a good right hand in and a second one, but blocked by Abdullah. And he shows us that the judo and karate moves he has learned in the Orient do work to his benefit as strong as laid flat on his back on the canvas. Right, as big as Abdullah is, Milt, he, you gotta understand, he's got those fast hands. He knows how to use his weight to an advantage and he can move for a big man no matter what. I mean, at 450 pounds, the way he can throw those side kicks, the, those karate chops, he, he's a force to be reckoned with. Well, it's obvious here on Butcher Mania that both Abdullah the Butcher and sadistic Steve Strong equally capable in both dishing out and withstanding tremendous punishment, you know. Look at those clotheslines that have been delivered to, and there's a by Strong, he stands back, takes a running leap, and lays that clothesline right up, rust the throat of this giant from the Sudan. Here he comes again. 
Holy cow, how much punishment can Abdullah take? He's still standing, Mill. That, that gives you an idea how tough the man is. The elbow across the back of the head, strong. Now, the forearm across the back. And look at this, Abdullah scooping strong. He didn't get him all the way up. I think that he just lost his grip, Gino, or he would have had Well, he's tired, he's weak, let's face it. And he has to pick up 290 pounds. Uh, it wasn't something to try. He tried, it didn't work out. Look at the way Steve Strong propelled Abdullah back into the turnbuckles, and he is throwing rights. I'll tell you something, I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those. Well, right now, both men are getting tired. Even Steve Strong, which might be in better shape than Abdullah, but he's getting tired because of fighting that weight all the time. And the punches probably don't register as hard as they should. Well, he is summoning up the power to lay those forearms in. Whoa, look at that quick move by Abdullah to double chop Strong across the throat. And there, laid in his own forearm clothesline, putting Strong to the canvas, but Strong fighting back and there he's going for the bear hug again Gino incredible got his hands together now incredible does that mean Abdullah's lost weight no it's just that he probably just got him right this time but hey we're laughing you're milled but I'll tell you Abdullah's not laughing because that's got to hurt well is that uh, that Steve Strong's got the power in those shoulders and those biceps he has but Abdullah has the power with that forehead look at that Pulling Strong's forehead against his own and using that to break the hold and hanging on continuously to Strong's hair and utilizing his his forehead as a battering ram. And there, oh, oh, the referee got in the way. Yes, he did. And Strong lifted Abdul and pulled it. The bells rung. What, 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 what can the referee have determined here, Gino? Disqualify because he's been hit, or maybe he figures uh, we got to stop this fight here. Well, Abdullah continuing with the headbutts, throwing right. Abdullah using his head, strong his hands, and it hasn't stopped. The referee has called it off. Is there a victor, or is it? There is, that's right. As far as I'm concerned, there's no victor. Both men are staying. Both men have taken a lot of punishment. It proved one thing. Both men are tough. I would like to see a rematch. I certainly would as well. I'll tell you something. Talk about... Hey, Giants. We've got strength. a lot of wrestlers coming in there. Pull them apart. Good idea. Gino, I'm going to let you take over at this point, and I'm going to try and make my way down to the dressing room and get an interview with Steve Strong as quickly as I can. Go after ahead, this Bill. Time. See you later. Look at that. One, two, three, four. About ten wrestlers in there already trying to pull them apart. Who can play the movable object against the irresistible force? There they are. Tom's in the ring right now. The referee doesn't know. Walking around in a daze. Eddie Creechman doesn't know what's going on. We've got Ron Ritchie in there. There they are at it. Back again fighting. Headbutt by Abdullah. How many wrestlers will it take to pull these two guys apart? It takes a lot of courage on the part of Steve, Steve Strong to keep fighting back. There they go. Please do something, you guys. Come on, get them apart. It's enough. I wouldn't want to see the guys barred. Anyway, let's go into a replay coming up soon. With the headbutt. A second headbutt by Abdullah. This is what got it started. Steve Strong weakening at the knees. The referee trying to pull him apart. Referee getting behind, and that's where you see the referee getting hit. And he decided to put a stop to it all disqualification of both men well the action is still going strong Abdullah still wants a piece of Steve Strong do you see all the wrestlers in the ring right now as I we mentioned before here they are Brito Jr's in there Richard Charlotte Tom Zink trying to pull these two big men apart Eddie Creechman giving orders what's happening they were sent in there by the promoters Toshiaki also in there Nobody can pull that Abdullah apart. He's just too big, too tough. Him and Steve Strong, the only thing I can see, folks, is probably to rematch these two guys, probably throw them in a cage. Who knows? Something will have to be done. We can't say Abdullah got the better of Steve Strong or vice versa. They're just two big guys getting it on together. 
a big street brawl. Abdullah just swept one of the wrestlers over the top rope. Can you imagine that? Steve Strong, as it's Steve Strong was flipped over the top rope by Abdullah. What a move by Abdullah. Abdullah going outside that ring now. Will he want to continue that fight outside on the floor? Wrestlers are just standing by. I know a few of them must be scared right now. They don't want to get too close to Abdullah. Tom Zink leaving the ring. Dan Crowfat also. We see the man from the Athletic Commission there giving his orders. Telling him probably they'll be fine, but no, they come right back in again. There they go at it again, folks. Can you believe it? These two guys just don't want to stop. Abdullah fighting back. Steve Strong. Oh, I'd like to get a hold of the promoters and sign the rematch with these guys. Throw them in a cage without a referee and see who comes out. Till one guy's laid out completely. I don't know. Abdullah with the headbutt. Steve Strong finally retreating some. He's got to get out of that ring. One thing is for sure. They're both tough, big men. Who knows where the future will lead these two. Let's hope it's in another bout.